Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today here with my weirdly shaped leg over there. It's, uh, it's not, it's not, it's, it's okay. Uh, and Trask over there, this is Marco, of course, and, uh, I'm gonna start the episode by leveling up. We, last episode, found... Well, we are here at the bridge of the, uh, what do they call it? The Empire Bridge? I don't remember the name of this place. But we have a level, auto level up? What do you think I am? Hmm? Anyway, let's, uh, let's level up. We got skills, we got feats, and we got accepts as well. So let's see what I can gain. I have, so I have basically class skills, I would say. And, uh, this is not a class skill over here, so we can't really bring that up too high. Computer use, I kind of want that, but it's not really that much of a priority. Security is going to be something I need. Persuade is also going to be something I need. It's very much like Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, or at least, you know, 3.0. Awareness, not so much. But then again, then again, I don't really have a choice, do I? Let's just go with that. Yep, yeah, that's, that's that. How about my feet? What do I have? I got one feet thing. Okay, how about this thing? This, because it's the implant. I can't really use them right now, so uh, let's say no to that. What else do I have? Because I, I didn't look at my... Uh, at, 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 when I was looking through... The, the feats, I didn't really look at the ones that I had already. So, for example, I can't really go there, but over here we got a weapon proficiency, and this allows us to just get melee weapon proficiency, which is pretty decent. Not amazing, because we're not a soldier, we can't really get uh, extra one, I suppose. Weapon focus, I guess, weapon expertise or something extra? I don't, I don't know. Uh, and we got over here some... I'm, I'm not really going to go with that. Uh, improved sniper shot. We have implant levels. Okay, that's the thing we had before. Conditioning. We got Critical Strike, and we have Armor Proficiency. I kind of want to be just light. What's the advantage, though? There's probably no advantage to using light armor. I mean, if it's a simple progression, I guess, uh, screw that. Let's go with uh, with that. Melee, melee weapons. Add feet. Thank you very much. And accept. I almost clicked back. But here we go. Sure. Let's, sure. Yeah, let's go in here, and I think Bastila is going to be in there. No. Oh, yeah, it's the escape pods. There's something behind here. Yeah, that's how usually. Damn, is. another dark Jedi. Oh, I'll boy. try to hold him off. You get to the escape pods. Go. No, let me fight him. Who are you? I'm better than you. Probably not. Most definitely not. Oh boy. Well, he left my party now. Oh man. Okay. So let's see what we have over here. We got uh, sta starboard section. We have the door over there that leads, I believe. Locked. Yeah. Let's back and then. What? Oh, that's a different area of the ship? Yeah, this is where he got in, right? Yeah. Trask has brought you this, uh, bought you the time you need to escape. You should make your way out. Well, I hopefully, hopefully he's gonna survive. He doesn't need this to buy- This is Carthel Nassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilis escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. Oh, no, I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. But be careful. There's a Sith patrol just down the corridor. Use your stealth skill to sneak past him. Uh, okay. Uh, that's a good question. How do I use my stealth skill? I don't think I have any. Uh, it's not control. I probably should have asked. Well, I have tools at my disposal. Don't worry. So I just go into gameplay over there so I can go to key mapping. Didn't look at this because I thought it wasn't going to be that hard. Uh, but maybe it's not here. Let's see. Movement, game, default action. It's probably not... Yeah. S solo mode, toggle stealth, G. Okay. That's all I needed. I'm pressing G. I don't have stealth skill. That's the thing. I don't have stealth skill. Hi. Uh, let's go. Hmm, yeah. Hi. Yeah, that's a blaster. Mm-hmm. You're going down, mister. You're going down. I don't know why there were explosions back there, but... Ow, um, I'm taking damage here. Please don't kill me too much. Thank you. I really would appreciate it, because I... Oh, by the way, I'm playing on hard, if you don't know. Uh, I selected that before... Well, difficult, not hard. They, 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 they're not as crass as that in this game. Um, but, uh, yeah, I selected that before I started recording the first episode. Let's go through here, because the other one is blocked. Oh, hi. Uh... Well, I could... Do you sound... You, you smell a little bit, so I'm just gonna do that for you. I'm gonna attack you. Yeah, he's gone. Move in! Neutralize his advantage. Okay, he... 
No, oh, yeah. I thought he was not gonna. <laughs> Who's that guy? Hmm. Is that a robot? Is that one of ours? Here. Come on, you and your form-fitting thing. Be careful. Thing There's a whole squad suit. of Sith troopers on the other side of that door. You need to find some way to thin their numbers. You mm. could reprogram the damaged assault droid to help you. Oh. If you have enough repair parts. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire security systems against the Sith. How about both? Can I do both? Because both sounds better. Both sounds amazing. Okay, let's hope that I get more med kits because we do need that. Uh, we have parts over here. It's good. Uh, that's the door over there. That's the combat droid. Apparently it is a combat droid. Uh, let's bring yourself over here see if I have anything. No, okay. So we got the security panel over there. Let's try and do this because I got computer use, so I should be okay. What is this? This droid is damaged and inactive. Mm, reactivate the droid. The droid is now active. It will attack any enemies that come in range. Uh, I can... Well, that's that, really. I'm not going to use parts for such a simple task. I think I'll be okay. Uh, you have... Yeah. Thank you very much, combat droid. You're going to do combat for me. Also, I should probably save. Did I just save? No, I pressed F3 instead. Okay. And then view... So, view starboard transport module. Oh. Four... Do I need to use four spikes? I think so. Okay. Uh, I think it's better to... Not do anything. Will I be alright? No anyway. problem. Got it. Hi! Yeah, I'm not dealing with you. I'll see you later. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Nope. That, that, it would be better if you didn't kill me. It would be uh, a, appreciatively better. Although, the droid is not really working. Okay. Yeah, come here. Come here. The droid doesn't see them. Okay. Fine. Let's kill you. Grenades would also... Oh, wait a minute. There's a guy over here. That's bad. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't want to return to the main menu. What are you... What? Okay, well, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna relay on the spikes over here. Let's see, so I view the starboard, overload the power circuit, and, uh, thank you. What happens? <laughs> all of them die. Literally all of them die. Logging out, thank you. Uh, gained a bunch of experience and lost items. Now, how many items did I lose? Uh, so do I have, I, I think I lost four. Thank you very much, Mr. Combat Droid. You really were not helpful at all. But at least I didn't die. Uh, and I definitely need... I definitely need medkits more than anything else at this point. What what we have over here? Uh, prototype Vibro, Vibro Blade. Oh, by the way, the other guy got me my short swords. I know. I need my short swords. Some credits. Okay, maybe I don't. Because I just got credits. Now everybody knows you don't need no swords when you have credits. Okay, so um, let me actually equip that. That vibro blade or whatever. So I have currently a long sword. This is a plus one to hit, one to eleven damage. It's very descriptive, right there. Uh, and this one is one to ten. Why does it say it's better? And why? Hmm. Because it does more critical. Yeah, that's a five percent chance to crit. Whereas this one is a ten percent chance to crit. Uh, and uh, it might be many things. Well, okay. I'm I'm gonna stick with a long sword though. Okay. So now I can save once again. And hopefully I will be saving. You've made it just somebody. in time. Hey. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. You said you were the last. Oh, I was the last person alive. You are still here. I thought he was somewhere else. Um, okay. Um, how do I know I can trust you? I'm a soldier with the Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left on the Endar Spire. Mm. Basila's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on. There'll be time for questions later. So Basil is gone. Okay, well, how do I, um, escape pod? Right there. Thank you very much. Only this one, though. Oh, it's because the other ones are gone. Yep. This is the last escape pod and your only hope of survival. Well, let's do this. Because not only do we have sound in space, it has no delay. <laughs> Yay for fiction! Oh, there she is. Oh, she caught her. She caught his eye. He's thinking of her. 
Well, she's she's quite good with the sword. I guess he could be thinking about that. Or maybe other things. Nice nice suit, man. That's good. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you on the escape pod. Do you remember? Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you, Quarth. <laughs> That's a reference, by the way. If you don't know it, it's fine. Uh, it's not a reference to Star Wars. Uh, anyway, yeah, I... Yeah, he doesn't need to know anything. Right, I'm Marcos uh, Geros, by the way. How did you? How did we? How did we get here? We've well, been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. But try not to worry. We're safe, at least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. You were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site in all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. It's cool, although I it, it's kind of fascinating, isn't it? Abandoned apartment. What is it? What, what is this like a, a a a huge building of a planet, or is it the apartment just means that it's a huge house or something? Uh, t what what about the Sith? Terrace is under Sith control. Oh, Their fleet is orbiting the planet. They've declared martial law and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I Have saw you? on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. Yes. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But oh. it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no <laughs> way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. Yeah. If we're going to find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. I was, if, you, if you're wondering, I was, that was a failed attempt at trying to, to speak like Chewbacca. I actually don't know their race. I know Chewbacca because that's his name, but... I don't... Uh, yeah, I... Mm, sorry. Uh, so, uh... Yeah, Bastila. She's the one from the Entire Spire, right? That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. No, no. Bastila's a Jedi. She was oh. with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endar Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. Yep. I mean, she's a Jedi. That's our job. Immediately. Because she's the boss. Uh, that, actually, that's really good. That's really good. Uh, that, that, that was a good, re really good setup. Uh, for her, actually, because he mentioned, or somebody mentioned, that she wasn't really... No, it wasn't him, it was Trask, or T Tarsk, or whatever his name was. Was, because he's dead now, poor guy. Um, but he they, he mentioned that she wasn't really an officer, and I was what, what well, she's filling the place of an officer. What what does that mean? But I didn't know she's a Jedi. Yeah, if, if she's a Jedi, she can... She, no, wait a minute, let's not say that. We need to go after her, yeah. Um, how do... Mm, how, how can I be... Hmm... Yeah, any idea where we should start looking for Basila? While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. Mm. It's probably a good place to start. But the yep. Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Basila any good if we go and get ourselves killed. Okay, so yeah, I'm probably thinking this is indeed like a sort of a city planet, or at least a huge place, a huge mega city or something like that, where oh, I found this ab abandoned... Um, abandoned apartment means that he actually was going through corridors and then just found an apartment that was abandoned, rather than whatever. How, that does beg the question, how did we crash land an escape pod into the city? But I would, I guess we'll find out because we're going to see those, uh, see the escape pods. Um, I want to ask you some questions, though. I'll tell you whatever I can, though I, I don't know how much help it'll be. Uh, what do you know about Malak and the Sith? Everything I know about Malak is pretty much common knowledge. He escaped the trap that killed Darth Revan, his Sith Master. With Revan's death, Malak became the new Dark Lord. It's obvious that Malak's a ruthless tyrant who'll crush anyone who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Experience has shown that the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. Malak and his Sith don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. It's hard to imagine how someone who used to be a Jedi could become such a monster. Well, I've always figured out that, the, figured that the, the Republic also was a little bit like that. With the whole, well, maybe I'm mixing things up, but that that's just my prejudice perspective, really. I I'm not one for the dark side, and we're not gonna do this. Is not gonna be a dark side playthrough, um, even though I am curious how 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 uh, how a dark side playthrough w would feature on camera. 
because I don't remember any of that, but uh, especially because uh, playing games on camera it does change uh, how how I relate to the to the games. But um, I on the on the Knights of the Old Republic two, I will be doing a dark side playthrough, uh, especially because I know for a fact that is a uh, much more interesting playthrough. In, well, I say I know for a fact. I, in my opinion, it is from my memory of playing that game as well. Uh, but uh, Malak, I believe, he's not from the. Official movies easy. He's like extended universe. All this is extended universe, and that's actually the the only bit of Star Wars, as I said at the, in the first episode. That's the only bit of Star Wars that I've come into contact with, and I've always found that it was very very interesting. It's got a lot of detail, even though it does have some permeate. I mean, it's a space opera. It's not really science fiction, but uh, in the you know in the strictest sense, but it does have some permeating notions. The setting does that uh, are a little bit troubling to sixteen year old me and to thirty year old me as well. Um, so yeah, I just I will touch on them if they are brought up in the game. But anyway, a Jedi? What do you mean? Oh, he's gonna make the same joke once again. Oh, you must be a game player playing a game. No, wait a minute. Oh, you must have hit your head. That's what he's gonna say. Malak and Revan were once both part of the Jedi Order, but they were young and headstrong. And against the wishes of the Council, they went to battle the Mandalorians on the Outer Rim. Something happened out there. Something corrupted them and drew them over to the dark side. Hmm. Or maybe there was something rotten inside them all along. I don't know. They formed an army of ex-Republic soldiers and Jedi who'd fallen to the dark side, with Revan at their head, until Revan was killed by Bastila's Jedi strike team. But even that didn't slow the Sith down. Malak just stepped in and assumed Revan's role. He took control of the Sith Armada and resumed the bloody conquest of the Outer Worlds. Yeah, that's always the problem with this sort of setups. I mean, if you make it all about vengeance or an evil, an evil overlord, I mean, the system is set up, especially the Sith, they're, they're an empire, effectively. Um, but yeah, good on you for not telling me off. Um, yeah, don't worry, we'll find a way to stop the Sith. Well, I hope you're right, but the Republic hasn't been able to stop them so far, even with the support of the Jedi Council. I think Bastila may be the galaxy's last hope. Why? What, what can... Uh, uh, Anyway, I can't ask that, but what can you tell me about this planet, uh, the planet we're on? Taurus was once a magnificent planet-wide metropolis of yeah. towering skyscrapers. But that was a long time ago. The upper city where the rich citizens live is, is still pretty safe. If it wasn't for the Sith occupation and the planet-wide quarantine, it might not even be a bad place to live. But farther down, things have degenerated. The, the lower city is nothing but a slum overrun by swoop bike gangs, waging a never-ending war for control. And the Undercity is... Well, it's even worse. The lowest level of Terrace is a wasteland overrun by rack ghouls. Mindless, diseased mutants that attack on sight. I've already entered all this info into your datapad journal. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'd like to know more about... some more about you, Quarth. I understand why you want to know more about me. I... I kind of get the feeling we'll be spending a lot of time together over the next while. But this isn't really the best time for long introductions. We should stay focused on the task at hand. Thank you. There'll be a time for that later. Yeah. Uh, so, um... Okay, well, the sooner we start looking for Bastila, the sooner we find her. Let's do this, man. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. And we can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. Oh, thank for some you. grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. Can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Bastila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. Let's do this thing, then. One of the really cool things that I like about the notion of the Force, even though I'm not really too familiar with what it actually is, um, I really like that it's effectively magic. Uh, even though it probably is explained in game and in lore and all that sort of stuff. It's effectively magic. It's like when throughout the game you'll find weapons and armor and upgrades. Okay, upgradable items can be used in here. More powerful versions and amazing things. Let's use the workbench and see what I can do. We got melee. Upgrade items. I can upgrade the prototype vibro blade. Okay, that's good. Okay, how can I do that? Oh, because I have the vibration cell and all that sort of stuff. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Can I disassemble? Yeah, I can. Fantastic. Okay, we have a better weapon now. Great, that's that's good. Um, prototype fiber blade. That, yep, that does a little bit more damage than the other one. Can I not have my blade out? It's, it's a little bit rude and all. Yeah, but what I was saying about the force is... Oh, look at that. Yeah, it is. 
it is a huge metropolis planet. Uh, what I like about the force is that it's effectively magic, and whenever just somebody is really good at using it, every time you leave the apartment to build select, oh, okay, so it's like, it's like a mass effect. Okay, uh, so yeah, Karth is coming with me, and that's that. And we can only take three, unfortunately. Right, you alien scum! Everybody, get up against the wall. This is a raid. There was a patrol here just yesterday, and they found nothing. Why do you Sith keep bothering us? Yes. That's how we Sith deal with smart mouth aliens. He wasn't being smart mouth. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! Oh, that's th that was a good call. Okay, so he should attack, and he shoots the other guy. Poor little guy. Well, he's gone. Uh, so he's a Sith soldier. I would wager that he's a little... I'm just going to attack him, basically. Just, yeah, murder him. Murder him. So I got critical strike and a normal attack. Okay, so what do you have? Uh, yeah, actually, I didn't check his special things. He's got clothing. Just a bunch of clothing. That's good. He's got a couple of... Oh, he's got uh, blasters of his own. Okay. Let's shoot that guy over there. Do you have anything else? Just have the power blast. Okay, I imagine the other other stuff would uh -huh. appear over there. Maybe. Ooh, those droids are weak. Whenever you spot an enemy, left click on the chances of hitting the target. Okay, shh, shh, shh. it's all good. It's all good. Disengage. And if I do, no, no, don't do that. That was supposed to be a beginning of the game tutorial, wasn't it? Oh, can you please kill him already sure. before he kills the other guy? Oh, he's missing though. That's why. This game doesn't have AI, though. Like oh. Yes. Okay. Oh, look at that. We have a 3 CPO thingy. Poor Ixil. You should never have talked back to that Sith. Thankfully, you were here to step in and help us, human, he says. This isn't the first time the Sith have come in here to cause trouble for us, but hopefully it will be the last. Uh... Won't somebody come searching for this patrol? I don't worry about the bodies. I will move them so it looks like they were killed elsewhere. That should throw the Sith off track. With any luck, they won't be bothering us again for a while. I hope you can hear me well in between the all the umababuka kubabuka. Oh look at that! We got a razor ri uh, laser rifle, uh, of course, also known as razor rifle, uh, and I think that's that. We have some guys down there. We got an Ithorian, Duros. Thank you once again. Okay, so he just goes back to that. Where should I go? Let's look at the map, and we see... Can I move the map? I cannot. We see that it's all over the place. Yeah, this the level design in this game is pretty much just huge circles, and you going around in this. Hey there, what, well, what, what were you walking? I just cleaned those floors. Yeah, don't go back there then, because they got a bunch of blood on the floor. Who are you? Oh, wait a minute, maybe I... Should be a... Eh, I know. I'm just gonna say, who are you? My name's Kadir. I'm the janitor for this building. You must be the new tenant here, eh? Never thought they'd rent that abandoned apartment. Hmm. You look like an off-worlder. What happened? You get stuck here because of the quarantine? Can't see any other reason someone would want to rent that old apartment. Yeah, I mean, neither can I. Neither can I. I want to ask you some questions. Don't know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're new here, I guess... I can try and help you out. Okay, tell me about Taris. Decent enough place to live, I guess. Really? Except for the lower levels. That's where the swoop gangs hang out. Just stay in Upper City and you'll be fine. You also might want to check out the cantina. I used to go there when I was younger. Good place to get a drink and find out what's going on in Upper City. You don't go there anymore? Really? Why? Why? Where is the cantina? Just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. Yeah. It'll take you out to the upper streets there. And, and from there, just head south a ways. You can't miss it. Okay. I want to ask you something else. Don't know how much I can tell you, but... Oh, it's fine. Uh, so, um, what do you think of the Sith and this quarantine? Not much of an issue for me, you know. No? I ain't never left Tars, and they ain't never gonna. A lot of other folks are sure riled up about it, but I don't really know much about it. I prefer to keep to myself, mostly. But there's plenty of people at the cantina who'll be more than happy to tell you what they think about the Sith and their quarantine. Well, it seems to me there's plenty of oppression, at least for the aliens. So the Sith are not aliens. They don't like aliens. Okay. 
Mm, okay. So I say aliens, I say non-humans, really, because we're all aliens, I suppose. Maybe not. I don't know. These are these humans from Terra. Okay, this is not like StarCraft. Not like it's not StarCraft actually. Well, yeah, StarCraft does have humans from Terra. Not like Star Trek. No, wait a minute. Is it about Battlestar Galactica that has? I don't know. I think it's all dumb a little bit. Anyway, um, I want to ask you something else. I don't know how much. I know. I know. I know. Uh, so uh, where can I get some equipment? Well. The best place to go is probably Kebley Yurt's store. She's right across from the cantina, so you can stop in for a drink if you get thirsty while you're shopping. You really Just like to drink, don't you? Just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come... Thank you, thank you. Uh, okay, I'll be going now. I should get back to work anyway. Yeah, you've got plenty. probably see you around. I'm, I'm here most of the time. A building doesn't clean itself, you know. Why doesn't it? Why? Why? Did it, the self... Cleaning uh, systems break down or something? Lack of maintenance? Because I, you know, as a janitor, you should also do maintenance, right? That's what janitors do. Oh, look at that! We got one of these guys or girls. Sorry. Uh, yeah. She's still talking over there, but she's going around. Apparently. The Sith are, they really, no problem. Do, they really don't like Got humans, it. or sorry, non-humans, because she was saying exactly that, she was saying there was talk of changing laws or something, but now that the Sith are here, that's out the window. Anyway, speaking of out the window, it's time to say goodbye for today, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Star Wars. Knights of the Old Republic. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye!